Hello, I am Dilip, Victor Uniform to Delta Lima Echo. Welcome to my video about Radio Berry Controller, which is designed to control PyHPSTR for the Radio Berry project. In this video, I will cover about the schematic working principle, assembling the hardware, which is pretty simple, and uh, building the application software and firmware software. Uh, Pico reads uh, switch presses and rotations of the rotary encoder via software uh, interrupt. Uh, these signals are immediately processed in the Pico in the interrupt handler and sent to Radio Berry's Raspberry Pi uh, via USB. In Raspberry Pi, uh, we have to execute another application software. I name it as uh, RBC.com. RBC.com receives the uh, input which is coming from the USB, then parses and generate appropriate cat commands. These cat commands are then sent to TCP port number of uh, PySPSTR, uh, which is 19090. Uh, we will see this in action and the configuration of this uh, port number at the end of uh, software configuration. As you see here, assembling the circuit is very simple. We can find the Gerber files in the hardware folder to make the PCB. The PCB talk has all the components except Pico. Interactive bomb in the hardware folder shall further assist you in case of any doubts. Uh, before placing the PC, uh, Pico, uh, solder the PCB pins both sides uh, like you see here. Uh, instead of using the PCB receptacle which I had mentioned in the bomb, I found an alternative cheap uh, component from my local shop. It is a single wire uh, raw female 2.54 mm through hole mount. So this cheap solution works. Just uh, fit in there like you see in this video. Yeah, so okay, then to connect the orange 400 PPR two phase incremental optical encoder, uh, I had this really mid connector for uh, both two pin and three pin, so I just soldered them together. Yeah, it works. You see now inside view of my prototype, and you can see my all connections. This is my optical encoder and connected to the PCB, the USB wire connected back to the Raspberry Pi phone. Okay, now we finished all necessary connections. Okay, let's begin the software installation. Open the GitHub in a browser and come all the way down, down, down until the software installation page. Yeah, we are here. Uh, open a terminal uh, and arrange on the screen side by side uh, for the easy copying the commands. Okay, so copy the commands from the GitHub carefully. Uh, I mean, without any additional spaces, uh, the paste the same in the terminal and uh, hit the enter key. So now we created a folder called RBC main. Now we go inside the folder. Okay, so in this folder, we clone the GitHub. So copy the commands, paste and hit the button. It's cloning. Yes, we are done. The simplest way to program the Pico is to use the USB mode, Raspberry Pi website, a given very nice explanation also YouTube. Uh, also in YouTube you can see several tutorial videos. Uh, hold the boot cell button down during the board power up. Uh, the Pico will then appear as a USB mass storage device. Uh, drag and drop the UF2 file from the GitHub onto the disk. We will write this file to the flash and restart the Pico. Uh, so very simple. Okay, the next step is the building the application. Okay, so let's begin. Copy the commands carefully. Paste it into the terminal. Then we do uh, the make. So we type the make clean and then make. Now the application already created for us. Now we will see the contents inside the folder. You can see the application rbc underscore com. Okay, now we come to the step three, the rebuild of the PySPSTR. Uh, so we have to follow the steps which is already mentioned by uh, Johan for installing the PySPSTR. And uh, uh, I will guide you uh, clearly that what changes need to be made uh, because uh, to make the RBC com working, uh, the rig control dot C from the PySPSTR we cannot use. Uh, we have to make uh, many 
a cat commands working so i have some changes there so i will guide you so we do the same thing cd temp and uh, then the the w get uh, the installation with the command we have done uh, now we go to uh, the editor uh, any favorite editor so i open here my uh, graphic editor uh, this is for me to easily uh, tell you where the changes need to be made so we have to open the PyHPR SDR script uh, then uh, all the way we will come down inside and find a location where in which we are doing the git clone so this git clone is from uh, John Milton uh, you can see the call sign so now I overwritten with uh, uh, my git clone command you can see the commands which is already there in the github just do the copy paste and save the button done uh, you may see in my terminal there are some warnings this is due to my graphic editor so uh, please ignore that uh, messages now we do the sudo ch mode that is the remaining commands from johan and then we do installation of the uh, sorry the execution of uh, the pyspsdr script yeah so i select the pyspsdr here you can follow your uh, installation uh, like you do normal because the necessary changes uh, which is needed uh, it's already taken care uh, that is the rig control dot c uh, so now the installation begins i selected cw also no software installation is uh, progressing i skipped the video just to save the time now we are coming to the end of pi hp sdr installation okay now we will execute the pi hp sdr uh, from the desktop it's taking some time uh, only because of this is the the fresh installation for the demonstration purpose so it's it takes some time uh, otherwise it's pretty fast so now we, we have to go to the menu rig control and we have to enable the port number so this is the port number we are actually communicating now we go to the our application folder this is the last part and we execute the rbc com here we finishes the entire installation hello cq 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 on 40 meters rick piano farm to germany radio mic so you look all for radio mic call you mic